part four of your spiritual journey, I will tell you one of the things that most people get really overwhelmed with is this fourth part of their spiritual journey because a lot of times they'll feel like they're on the path but they're lost or stuck. And I guarantee you everybody who's going through this growing process has been there or will be there eventually. And I will tell you that's kind of the hard part for a lot of people um, is a lot of times like we think this is a very uncomfortable process, but it's really not. And this step is really meant to connect you to your angels and guides because <clears throat> so many times we think that we're on this journey by ourselves, that we're all on ourselves and it's all up to us to fix it and change it and modify it and change the world and all of those kind of things, but it's not. We have guides, we have archangels, we have guardian angels around us all the time to guide us, to protect us, to keep our energy safe and sound. I guarantee you're like, what? Yes. And this is the part where you start to struggle that you realize you've got to have someone completely on your side. That's when your archangels, your guardian angels, and your angel guides are going to be there for you. And you, the more you reach out to them, the more you kind of like trust their energy. The thing is, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I thought I was going to be struggling through this and I'm really not. If you are not reaching out to your angels and guides by this point, stop and do that now. Literally stop everything. Stop, stop, stop. Because your angels and guides are like, we're here for you. We are here to help things um, happen. We are here to help things um, move along. And you really have to be a seeker of which one you should be working with. Which one is going to be the best to help you through whatever you're going through? Which one is going to be the best to help you down the path of what's going on around you? And it doesn't mean you have to get to know each and every one of them and kind of like do a job interview or anything like that so literally start asking um guardian angel are you the best person who can guide me through this or do i require an archangel which archangel and think about the archangels and which ones are coming up on your mind maybe it's archangel Raphael or um, metatron or archangel michael which ones are coming up on your mind that you are ready to kind of really like yes connect into that energy <clears throat> and i will tell you this is kind of that spiritual journey where you're going to be like making new choices, new changes, new kind of things are going to be coming up. And there might be some setbacks in, in your mind of kind of like, I'm not ready for all of this. I guarantee you, you are. And all you have to do is reach out to your angels and guides to really know that they're with you, to really understand that they are with you on this spiritual journey. You're not alone in any way, shape or form, not alone at all. <clears throat> And I will tell you, if you start to feel lost or hopeless or kind of like this isn't working at all, you have got to ask for angel guidance, bring them in. And a lot of times I'll just start calling them out like, okay, every archangel, I need you now. I don't care who you are and what you're supposed to be doing. Like I require your assistance. Like I need you now. And <clears throat> this will help you kind of feel like you are not alone on this process that no matter what challenges are coming up or kind of your dark nights of the soul that you have during this time frame um, are not setting you back near as far because it's one of those like you're thinking where am I guided what do I need to look at where do I need to go with this and I guarantee you it's usually going to be something that you're drawn to kind of what is that energy that you're drawn to something that makes you feel good makes you through that you feel like you can get through it no matter what else is going on and I guarantee you, your spiritual light is going to be on full time all the time and your angels and guides are going to be helping you out every step of the way make sure that you are calling on every one of the angels every one of your guardians every one of your um guides to assist and help you work through this issues and it's not supposed to be so that you never have any issues on your spiritual journey because that's part of the growth of it the spiritual kind of falling down on your face and kind of having issues and problems is all about learning and teaching you what you've got to know for the next phase it's all about teaching you where you're going to be going at the at the next part of this and i guarantee you other people that are at the beginning may be asking you for help and assistance and these are the things that you're going to be passing on to them kind of like let me tell you what happened with this let me tell you how this happened let me tell you what what i did with this part but their spiritual journey is their own spiritual journey you can help and assist some but i guarantee you it's up to them